Yes. Francis, whatever's wrong? I, I don't know. I just started crying for no reason. <laughs> What should we do? Uh, hey, is that an onion? Princess, were you eating this before you started crying? Yes. Well, no wonder. Onions can make people cry. Oh, really? I didn't know. I've never taken a bite out of one before. <laughs> you see, I was so hungry, I went down to the kitchens for a snack, and Cook was already gone. And so yeah. all I could find was this onion. And I thought, if I used my imagination mm -hmm. and I pretended really hard it was an apple, it would taste like an apple. But when I took a bite, I started crying for no reason. And I thought, well, I must be sad yeah. because people cry when they're sad. But I didn't know what I was sad about. So that made me cry even harder. <laughs> and then... You came. Who are you? My name is Albert. Albert. That's a nice name. I'm Gwendolyn, Princess Gwendolyn. Princess, what did I tell you about pretending? <sighs> pretending is fun, but don't take it too far. Take care or you may end up with a scar. Yep. And her imagination yep. is a little bizarre. <laughs> you see, I got this scar pretending just like I was Jack and the Beanstalk. And I had my own special seeds, and I planted them, and they sprouted, and they grew into a giant beanstalk. <sighs> Only really it was the old oak tree in the garden. But I climbed up and up and up the beanstalk, and then I fell all the way down, and I scraped my hands and my knees, and I hit my chin on a very sharp rock. And then, after that, Eldrick and my father said, I mustn't get carried away while pretending, or I could really hurt myself. Wow. Wow. In case you haven't noticed, the princess has quite the imagination. What kinds of things do you like pretending, Albert? Well, uh, I've always imagined what it would be like to be a knight of the square table. Uh, that's why I'm here. I, I just arrived today and Eldrick and Sir Lancelot are already training me. <gasps> Guess you can check. Oh. <laughs> Save a damn one distress off your list. <laughs> Sometimes I like to pretend that I'm a knight and I'm charging into battle on my horse or I'm fighting a fearsome dragon. But then I usually end up knocking something over, like that time that I was in the Great Hall and I knocked over a vase and broke it. Well, so Lancelot is teaching me to sword fight. He's already given me my first lesson. <gasps> He's already taught me some of the basics. I wish I could learn how to use a sword. Yeah. Well, I sure don't. And speaking of which, it's about time to get back to your sword fighting lessons, Albert. Well, I should like to introduce him to my father first. It wouldn't take long. Your Highness, the king is a very busy man. I don't know if he has time for this. The king? I'm sure he would want to meet Albert since Albert helped me. I'll go get him. Yo, say there, Albert. You're white as a sheep. I think you mean white as a sheet. Hello? Hello? I can't believe I'm going to meet the king. Uh, well, you don't need this. All right, now listen. Do not forget. You must be very respectful, you must call him your majesty, and you must bow. Okay. Don't do this to him. He's nervous enough as it is. Albert, when you get done, come find us outside. I will. This is the boy that I was telling you about, Albert. Oh, oh, Albert! Oh, Albert! Albert! Albert, are you okay? Oh, my goodness! 
Oh, oh, oh. oh, Your Majesty! Oh, it's okay. Oh my goodness. Nice to meet you, young man. You may rise. You may rise. Oh. I was crying when Albert and Sir Eldrick, or Eldrick and Sir Lancelot found me. Albert knew right away it was because of the onions and helped me stop crying. What am I going to do with you, Gwen? Thank you very much for helping my most imaginative daughter, Albert. Albert is training to become a knight in your square table, Father. He just arrived at the castle today. You are most welcome here. Knights are, have a high calling. I use my knights to help guard the kingdom and to stand for the truth. I pray that you train well and prove yourself worthy. Oh, thank you, Your Majesty. Will, will Eldrick and Sir Lapsalot be training you? Yes, they've already begun training me and giving me my first lesson. You couldn't be trained by two better men. I look forward to seeing what God does in your life, Albert. And for now, I must be back to my duties. There's much to do. In two days, we travel to another kingdom to settle some differences between some noblemen. And off with you now, and no more snacking on raw onions. Yes, Father. I won't make that mistake again. <laughs> I'm still very hungry, though. I think I'll go down to the kitchen and see if Cook has some real apples. Will you be okay to find your way back outside, Albert? Yes, I think so. Okay, I'll see you later then. Bye. Hello there. No, oh, oh. your grace, I, I didn't see you there. The princess is a delightful young lady, so... Charming and creative. <laughs> yes, you could say that. Well, I was just passing by and I saw you talking with the king. Oh, yes, the princess thought it'd be a good idea to introduce me to him. Uh, so I got lucky enough to meet him. And on my very first day, too. Well, how exciting. It was awfully kind of the king to take time out of his busy, busy day just to meet you. Oh, yes, it was. And... He is a very busy man, though. Mm -hmm. It sounds like he's got a journey planned soon um, oh. to settle some dis disagreement of some sort. Uh, is that so? Did, did he say where? Um, no. Mm. But he, he did say it was coming up in a couple of days. Um, do you think you could find out for me, Albert? Um, I, I don't know. Oh, um, well, that's okay. You see, I was just planning a special banquet for the king and all of his nobles. And if I knew where he was going and when he was returning, then I would know what night to plan the banquet for. That's all. Oh, well, that makes sense. I, I can ask the princess and let you know. Oh. oh, Albert, if you could do this for me, I won't forget. Oh, thank you, Your Grace. Goodbye. Goodbye. Eldrick! So, last of all, I'm back. Oh, it's just me, George. How are you, boy? Albert. Oh. <laughs> so, how did it go with the king? Were you nervous? Oh, yeah, that reminds me of another great joke. So, which one of the king's knights never doubts himself? Yeah, you don't know. Sir Tan, like certain Sir Tan Giddy. Ha 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 I think Albert and George have had enough of your jokes for one day. Well, you, you're probably right. I probably need some new material. Hey, I'll go see if per Sir Percival can help me. I have something for you, Albert. You've dreamed your whole life of becoming a knight. <clears throat> But more important than becoming a knight is becoming a child of God. Now, a knight needs his armor. Well, there's another kind of armor that God gives his children. It's invisible, but it's just as real. The first piece of that spiritual armor is the belt of truth. When you wear this belt, let it be a physical reminder to you of the spiritual armor that was, get, that was given from God to his children. The belt of truth helps us be People who tell the truth, just as God does, to his people. Therefore, stand having fastened on the belt of truth with unshakable faith in God and his word. 
Well, thank you, Eldrick. I will cherish it always. But, Eldrick, how do I become God's child? Let's go sit down. <clears throat> there are two kings, Albert. A good, which is God's. And the bad is Satan's. When we are born, we are born into the bad kingdom. Because we disobey God. That's called sin. Okay? Sin is what separates us from God. From His good kingdom. But God sent His Son Jesus as a perfect substitute for our sins. Jesus lived a perfect life. He died in our place and He rose from the dead so we can be forgiven and be a part of God's good kingdom as children of God. We need only admit that we have sinned and we need <clears throat> Jesus to receive God's gift forgiveness. If you do this, God will make you His child and give you a special armor to wear so you can have unshakable faith and stand strong against evil. I see. I have a lot to think about after today. Yes, you do. And when you think about things, you should study the book of truth. Oh, that's right. The special copy you gave me. Yes. What's wrong? Uh, Eldrick, I, I left it here earlier. Uh, have you seen it? I'm sorry, Albert. I haven't seen it since I gave it to you. Hello, Eldrick. Hello, Albert. <gasps> oh, hi, George. How are you, boy? I didn't forget your treat. I didn't forget it. Here you go. Oh, <laughs> good boy. You're my good boy. Yes, you are. <laughs> I, I can't find it anywhere. Albert, what's the matter? This, the special copy Eldrick gave me, the Book of Truth. I, I laid it over here earlier, and, but now it's gone. I, I've got to find it. Well, wait up. I can help. Albert, wait a minute. Let's think about this. We can probably retrace your steps. Yes. Albert, 